what you learn in this course. This course is a fast track to using Microsoft Access Database Management System. Database Management System is a tool that anybody living in this technological age should use. If you are not using it, either you are not aware of it or you do not have the skill to use it. This course is designed to clear all these obstacles so that you can start using it in a few minutes from now. The course outline. The first is introduction, the, followed by the page we are now, which is what you learn in this course. Then we go into core database management. A database management is designed around four objects. The first is the table. We'll learn to create table and we'll learn how to manage table. The next is the query. Query is asking question. First, the table has all the contents, all the information, all the data in your database. The query asks questions to table. Give me this specific information. It will now give. While without table, there won't be a database management because table contains all the information. If the information is not in the table, it's not in your database. In the other uh, language, query is the reason we design database. If you can't query your database, that database is useless. So they all have their functions. Then we now go to form. We don't want to stress people in using table-like structure in keying in data. Or wants the interface to be friendly. That even a child, anybody can use it without the, any without skills. So because of that, form was invented. Form will present the data entry to you, just like what you usually do with your paper and pen. So we'll create form and we'll manage form. The next is the reports. Reports is the language, the database language for printing. This is so because you usually do not print everything in your database. You print selected things you need. So that's why it's called reports. So in this uh, section, we'll learn how to create reports and how to manage reports. There are silent things in database management that will make you excel. We'll highlight those things. Join me to learn and start using Access a few minutes from now. I'm waiting for you. Enroll now and enjoy database management. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to this section. In this section, we'll look at Microsoft Access Environments. As usual, to open any app, you look at the tax bar. If it is here, you can click on it. This is access icon. You go to the program menu, click start. If it is in this panel, you click it. Then once your place, you will see it is this left hand side. Any software or file in your computer must show here if it is not here it is not in your file another quick access to get to your files is through the search engine once you start typing you will see access so we open access here 
access opens to this explorer window this is the blank access file we are going to start with access has some apps that you may be interested in a lot of them you can download from the internet but they will be meaningless to you if you don't know how to use access so as beginners let's go straight and use the blank again we have um, these recent files if you've been working on file you look here you'll see your recent file so we click blank database database always wants you to create a file before you start a work this is because most of the things you are doing in database are in the memory before you save them they don't want and they are fragile while in memory so they don't want you to lose your job let's call this uh, access in the evening in the eve let's shorten it then um is good now that we are working on database to name your files officially don't give gap don't use graphical symbols so with this we can say access this is what we call camel case if you use it it will still be readable access in the evening so we use this camel case you can use underscore or hyphen but avoid using space so access in the evening is the name we are giving it so we click create to create database one thing you will know about database there are objects that make up the database they are not much they are only four and you must master each very well the first one is the table this access opens to a table this is the table he has given a name table one for us a database must have a table and table is very important for the database because every information in the database is contained in the table actually it is called database database comes from database a basin of water you go there to collect the actual thing holding the water is the table other apps go there to collect the information they need so the microsoft calls these objects all these the these things that hold the database and they are four in number this is table the ones created register their presence here. Table is the only one partially created because it has we've not given it a real name. Then another object in the database is let's go to create so that we can see all of them. This is table. This area is a table. We can create table and manipulate table this in this form then query is the other object query will go to database to collect information while the table takes the privilege of being the holder of information in database query is the reason you design a database you design a database so that you can query it you can ask questions who is this person where is this in inventory control? Which clients has purchased what? So that is the work of query to ask questions. Without query, no, the database is useless. Then we now have form, another object. The form is to present an interface where we can fill our information into the table just like using pen and paper 
so that even uninitiated anybody who can type can enter information for us so that is the work of form to present a form for you inform your information look like form that any d can hurry can feel and anything you type in form will be stored in the table so the next thing is the reports report is the print out or just print for the database we call it report because in most cases in database we are not printing everything in it we are just printing part of it the portion that interests us if i have database that has the information of a citizen everything about it and i'm interested in creating database for the person i'll just collect the information that has to do with database if i want to do national id card for the person i'll collect the only the information that the person needs to present as in a card so that's why it's called reports so in this uh lecture or uh, discourse we'll learn how to create all these tools once you create you can create and manage all these things you've known everything about database and you can use database very well so see you in the next section where we will talk about table this is about access environment Yeah, welcome to this section. In this section, we are going to discuss database table. The first step we'll take is to open a database. You click here once. You remember that in database, these are your recent, this is the blank. If you're interested in templates, click here. We want to start a new one. Click here once. They will ask you for the name of your database. We'll name this database XYZ School Update x y z school we use a camel method by typing capital z to make it readable x y z school updates okay we click create database opens to this window this window give you table one a table and the list of the objects will appear here any objects we create will appear here you can recall that the database have four objects and the objects are tables queries forms and reports we are going to treat all of them we'll go back to home then we are in database this is table one when we want to change or do any activity it will force us to change and give it a reasonable name so we click design view and the next part table two i'll show you how you can design your table using this window most people prefer using design so we'll start with design we'll still show you how to do the other one it's left for you to know what you'll use in designing your table so we go to design view and we call it this x y z tab one x y z tab one you give a name that will make you remember the database that owns it so we are in design view now the first view is the primary key every database should ha must have a primary key it's with the primary key that your database is indexed it is a unique key it doesn't have duplicates a key identifies an object if you're designing for driver's license driver's license number is a good candidate if you're designing for vehicles vehicle plate number is a good number if you're designing for a woman being things like security number 
so there should be something to identify a field here in our id we will choose matriculation number because it's a school so we call the uh, primary key we give it a name x y z we can use id we can use math number let's use matriculation number matriculation number so this is the data type what type of data will you put into your table database wants to know beforehand the type of data so that it can reserve the space for you here we have all types of data types we are going to exhaust all so we if we use number it means only number is what will enter here it can't take any data if you use it in auto number we don't need to put in any data the computer will number it serially it's not the best for you because you want to use your inventory number your client number or driver's license number so we'll choose to use the matriculation number here and this only number that will enter here the next field will be for name name is a reserved name keyword for access it will accept it will have a lot of keywords access to not accept but there are a few if access complain about the naming change the name you use for the first name we use f name later you will see how you can write it in full but this is what we want to be in our table we don't want to use very long number here does not accept uh space but it can take underscore or hyphen so you'll be careful on the data you put here so the next this we want it to be short text for any data you choose like this we say number you come here that's a field size if we click here we can modify the data more long data will take several billions of numbers we we'll just want integer we don't want to waste space by reserving big space for it the same thing if we click here the data type has given it 255 characters i think for our name 15 characters will be okay so we have a n name uh surname which is s name <coughs> so s name definitely is short text we'll do the same thing here the reason we are doing this is that a space of that character will be reserved for us otherwise the data when you're filling the form it will reserve very big space for you if you press enter it will go to the next line enter so you have to use your mouse to click to go to the next box but with this now it will just reserve 15 when you press enter you can go to the next thing to input uh, you will see that when we are uh, discussing form the next thing we want to discuss is age we'll just use numbers vary it vary our field names and types so that we can accommodate as much of the fields as possible so the next one we'll use we want to use yes or no so we'll use married if people are married they will tick so this is yes or no answer if you're married you say yes so the next one we want to treat we'll use registration the date this will give us the opportunity to use date and the data type we'll choose will be date date and time so we come here we use uh, fees we want to use currency field assuming that students pays fees per session so fees one will be for section one this is for session one or semester first semester so here we use currency currency will give us uh, us is the default us currency if you click here you can choose other currencies but dollar is the default you can see it we have euro we have so you can choose any of them then here we want fees too 
okay so in phase two the same thing we will use fees I will use currency. So the next one we are going to use pics. We want our passport to be here. So we use pics to depict pictures. Pics. So here our pics, the field that is good for pasting picture is OLE. Object leaking and embedding. So we have is we have pic then we have a sex the sex is a male or female we want to use we are we will use only two characters uh it's okay for us so we use we want country in this country column we want people to choose from the listed country we do this so that we can use the lookup wizard lookup wizard when you click it it will have a drop down like what we have now so students that are filling the form can select so we use lookup wizard So the lookup wizard will ask us if we have a table. In most cases, you have table that contain all the countries, so you have to choose it. But because we are practicing, we want to type our own options, so students can pick from our options. So we click next. It wants us to put in the names of the countries for students to choose from. We we'll have U.S. We have U.K. We have Nigeria. we have south africa these are the list of names students will choose from we we'll have japan japan we we'll have china we we'll have india We we'll have Russia. <coughs> we can keep on typing. It can contain as many countries as we put. And you can come back here to increase it, to edit it, and add more countries. For now, we'll stop here. When you're practicing, make sure you include your country's number there. So we click. Then the title is okay for us. And we say finish. So by the time we are filling the form, you see what we've done. The next thing we've now used is uh, the attach and uh, the hyperlink. They are straightforward. If you click hyperlink, just put as many hyperlinks as you want to a website. When people click it, they get to your website. If you use attachment, attachment accepts any type of data, documents, files, folders, anything. But it needs advanced knowledge to manage so we won't use it here but we'll use it in our advanced uh, database so again the country i think 20 characters will be okay for us for the country which other one the sex we've chosen okay if you look down here you see a lot of options you can set against this database but we are not going to discuss it now. We discuss all these options in advanced level. But well, let me show you some important ones. If you go to the matriculation number, you find out that it's required. It means that required, yes, students must key it in before they continue. Then we look at index. Yes, it is indexed. It doesn't accept duplicate. Other data fields is not required because students can have the same name so required no 
uh, people can jump without typing it will accept it indexed yes so all these are the rules we've set for the database we'll discuss that in advanced level for now we'll finish designing our database there's one thing remaining let's do a calculated field we did not do a calculated field okay we insert the field for the total select row then insert a row the calculated field is best done when you key in the field before naming it if you try to name it before selecting calculated you may have problems on recognizing the name continue to give you error that it, the field name will not go so starts with calculation is the only one that has this exception so that it will write the expression first so we have a fee one this is where you do your calculation you have the expressions you have the um, elements then here are uh, all our fields we can calculate with and here are the expression values you can do this to do a great job in calculation so we've just double clicked field one what do you want to do if you have several fields to calculate do the same use any mathematical symbol if you can like addition bracket subtraction multiplication it will carry it out it's all open to you to use just write your expression right so for now we just want to do fee one plus fee two so we say okay it has accepted it as calculated without name so here we can now write x y z total fee total fees you have to mark this step if you don't get it right you keep on having errors so this is calculated fees so we now say go to view it's wanting us to save it we'll save it so we are here this xyz calculated fees so this actually how to put in the calculated fees you can use any other name for your calculated fees so here we'll thumbs up we finish designing our data base uh, table we are going to key in one record here now and we'll reserve keying in more records when we get to form so here we'll have a um, math number let's call this one zero 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 one the name is uh, Jane the surname is uh, Peter. The age is, uh, let's say, 18. Married. This person is not married, so we don't have to gain this. Registration dates will bring out a calendar for us because we've uh, said that the field is a calendar. Browse to get a date, you have a number and put it in remember one you can just key in the data here but any date number format you're using must match the one in your computer like here month come before day and you must put it in that order otherwise you go to your computer and change it this is the structure that is in my computer down to the right and pointing at my date format that is why i'm using this date format so here we will put in fee let's say 500 and here we'll put the fee let's say 600 okay we'll brush over so that it will capture it well 600 so in total fee here 
we are not we can't put the picture here we will put the picture in form for sex is female we write enter f for country when we click here we see all the countries we put so we can choose country from this drop down so this is the extent of the field we recorded so this is how to create table and enter data in table but entering data in table is difficult it's only the people that are somehow literate in entering data that can manage it that is why we have form form will create an environment for you to just enter data as if you're using pen and paper any data you enter in form still finds its way to the table so in the next exercise we will discuss table but before then we'll show you another alternative of designing table from this area this is all we are taking for now see you in the next section thank you welcome to tables part two in this part we we'll want to show you how you can design your table using the table view let's create a new table for this purpose we'll go to create and we'll say table this is our initial table let's uh, close it it's still here this is our new table is table one remember here you can delete you can rename your tables when we started microsoft access it opens a table like this for us the idea is that we can go ahead and put design our table here if you like this option you use we've used the design view option in this option the data type is showing and we said the data type in the other side we selected number meaning that it's only number that we can enter here then the field name we call x y z math number you may prefer this field to using the design view so we now go to the second field here and we want surname in this second field click this arrow and select what you want that first name we say is short text so we have i think we have first name the first time so we can say f name for first name so that's the field name we choose okay so we go to the second one and we select short text you see that it's showing us the field for the short text we use 15 we are going to edit the other one too so we use 15 characters so this is how to use this one and this is s name if you like prefer designing this way so double click here to say s name then 15 characters that's what we've designed so the next thing that follow the full look at our 
first table. Let's call up the first table to have a look at it. Okay. The first table have age and we have married. So we go back to the second table and get to that point. So we have age here. Age is a number and the field name for age we call age. Okay. So we go to the other one. I can't remember. After age, we have married. So we go to this field and say it's yes or no answer. We look for yes or no. And we call the field married. And we've selected yes or no here. So it's showing. So the age, if we click, is a number, and the format, okay, is number. So that's not okay. So we have the surname. We have age. The field is showing here. So if you prefer to design your table this way, you can continue. In a database, you can have as many tables as you want and work with the table. In the advanced section of uh, this course, you will learn how to do more things. For now, we'll use one table. So see you in the next section where we'll discuss form. Remember that the purpose of this second part of the table is to show you how you can create your database using this field. That you're using this table field, view field does not stop you from switching over to design view. I'll we'll have to save this. So let's call it X, Y, Z, tab 1 table one or table two because we have the other one so we don't confuse it so this is what we've just done we can continue here we can switch over and continue so now i'm sure you know how to use any of the the two fields uh, the two methods that is the essence of this you can design your table this view you can design in the other view and you can switch from this data sheet view to design view at any point in time so thank you in the next video lecture we'll discuss form Welcome to this section. In this section, we'll learn how to design our form. Remember that form gives us an interface that we can use to key in data as if you are using normal pen and paper. So first, we'll go to create. As you can see, we have different ways we can create a form. As a starter, we'll start with the form wizard which is this. In the advanced learn uh, course, we can look uh, into other forms, but in this one, the wizard will help us to quickly design our form. So we click form wizard. The form wizard wants to know the table we want to use. Remember in your database you can have many tables. Now we have only one and it's telling us, showing us the table. These are the fields we are going to fill in the form. It showed us all the fields we have in the table. If we want to use selected field, we can use these arrows to select it. For example, I want only this and this. Oh, I don't want this. I use this to send it back. 
Oh, I want all of them. I use this to send all of them to this place. Oh, I don't want country in it. I use this to send it back. So we use this to send everything back. Then we use this to select everything. These are the selected fields we are going to work on. We go to next. The next is said whether we want our table columnar or tabla. If our table is tabla, it will be like Excel sheets. We have not achieved anything. We want it columnar so that it will look like our real paper and pen form. We go to next. It suggested a name for us. We won't go by this name because it has table in it. So we'll go with the one that has form. So we choose form. Okay. So we go to finish. That's all it requires from us. You click finish. Now you are presented with a form you can fill. This is the form we can fill. We've added this picture before. So here are the numbers. This is number two. From our record, this is our first record. We can rename it record one. So we have one zero zero one one zero zero one. Then this is the name we've entered before and the figures we entered in the table. These are our selections. So we use this to go to the next blank table uh, form to fill. This is just one step to the next table incidentally our next one is the blank and is the last one so we can use this or this to go to it you use this to move around your table this is to go back this is go to go to the very very first one this is to go forward and this is to move to the very last one so we go to the next step the next step we must key in this primary key before any other thing otherwise the page will not save so here we want to give this 1002 based on our numbering system then we'll start putting the name let's get this name as uh, maybe Maggie Maggie and the son name is Bloom so Maggie Bloom we have H here, maybe 24. Married, yes. Date the person registered. We can use the calendar. Uh, we can manually enter the dates. So we select a date here. Remember the date format. If you know that it begins with months and followed with year, you can use backslash and still enter your date like this it will end it will accept it so fees the first fee she paid let's say four hundred dollars i brush over this is faster then you now type what you want then the second fees is uh, fee fees six hundred dollars by the time we click here the total will appear because you are using calculated field so how do we put picture here you can't insert file here but if your picture is open you can just copy it and paste it that is the fastest way to do that so we go to images i have some images here i'll look for some images we'll use in your own case you have collection of students passports to use so in the images here i'll look at the files i have okay let's say this is the woman in question you look at image format this is web format it opens with web i have uh the japan of it so it's not every file that will accept uh, the certain file formats but when you copy no problem you worry less about the file format so if we use this it's likely to open in web but we are just copying it so it doesn't mean so we can right click here and copy the image this is how you can get your passport into the access so we go to access and paste it it's still waiting for us where is our access again so we right click here and say paste and the picture is there 
So we still have uh, the paste here, if you prefer to use that one. So this is how to get your pictures to the page. Then the sex, we can see is female. And the country, we have to select. We can't type in just anything, we have to select. So we select a country. Fine. So we've created our second database. To go to the next one, we'll just press button. This is record tree. So in this record now, we have, uh, we'll have to scroll up to the first one. So we give the number 003 to be in serial with what we numbered. Yeah, we make this one male. So let's call this person Paul. And let the surname be maybe Kettle. The age is 23. He's married. Dates registered. We select any date for the person. I've used 12. Okay. First fee, this person paid 1000. Remember, you can use calculated fill to say what the balance will be. It's just this plus this minus the total. So, so paid 4000. Uh, 400. So the total fee will appear here. So the picture now we want to attach and we have to use the our method. We call up the image, right click, copy image, and we can just go and paste it. Life is easy. So we go to our database and paste. Okay. So that's how to create your database. The sex is uh, your form. The sex is a uh, male, as we can see. And let's use capital M. And the country, we oh, can choose India. Okay. So we are entering our data. And as you can see, anybody can enter same data. Notes, had it been we did not limit this to 10 character, we left it at 200 and something, 55, all these fields. They will be so large, they will be big like this, that we can't manage them. So all this is because of the constraint we gave in selecting the field. It helped us. I can just finish filling one, press enter, it will go to the next field. So now that you know how to create a form and you know how to enter data in your form, what next? We want to create 10 records. We have three already, as you can see here. This is the third one, three of three. That is your assignment, your homework. I want you to use to create 10 record at least if you make it 20 or 30 or 50 better uh, try to use records that you will use in real life so that you will put the access in the evening into use immediately I'm here to answer your questions if you have any difficulties so with this we come to an end of creating the file in um, Form part two, we'll discuss how to retouch our form. So we now that we've finished, we've saved it, we can close. We can close. It's telling us about what we copied in the clipboard. So he said uh, this record has been changed. Okay. Save record or save it. Okay, so we are now we now have form 
and this the name of the form and the name of our table does not appear good for our official work so let's rename it i purposely do this so you know that you can always rename your data so we call this uh, xyz school record xyz this is table xyz school this is the main record the main table we can as well call it main table main tab okay so main tab we've named this as such so here we have a form and we want it to follow this format so we rename this form x y z school x y z school main form main okay we oh, forgot our camel case so that's what we are writing can be readable xyz school fine it's now readable it's now that i notice that the main is not well spelled because i'm using this case so okay so we've saved this and we've saved this so our work is saved now so we close this when we come back we'll try to beautify our database see you in the next section tagged form 2 thank you Welcome to form part two. I've done my own part to update my own form. I hope you've done that to your form too. I've added 10 records, so have one to 10 records. So now we have 10 records to work on. The purpose of this section is form design or we'll design our form. But before then, I'll check my table. You'll find out that the form, I what I filled in the form has already been updated in the table. So that's why we use form. It's a very, gives us a quick access to entering data. So right now, I'm going to call up form. The purpose of this section is for form design without wasting time we now go to the form design form design we can change all that you're seeing here uh, to look appealing but without touching things in the table so the first step is to go to the design view we are in the form any page in the form so this is the okay so this is the form design view what do we want to do all these our tables we can move them around for each field in our table we will have two things that represents it here the one is the label and the other one is the data box we won't change this field name if you change it it will lose the link to your table but you can do whatever you like with the label you can even delete it so here we we'll want to give this a good name so we'll call it a matriculation number matriculation we are not restricted to using 
certain characters or anything. It's a label we can use anything. So we'll now give our fields a meaningful name. So this we use F name. We can just say first name or enter your first name. Anything we like, we can type here. Enter I will just say your first name. So anything we like, we can type. It did not end there. This box is now, we can format them. So I can right click here and choose the background color I like. I can also look up here if I go to formats I will see all the tools I can change the type size I can do whatever I want with the color and the attributes I can center I can do anything let's just change the color of this text to blue or uh, a deeper color okay so we can change it and we've changed the background these are the things we won't touch all these are label up here we can delete whatever label that is here and give it a name we come to design form design if we use text box it means we want to type equation we want to type the type of uh, expression we use to calculate fields we just want a label this we can put anywhere so this is xyz school xyz school we are giving it a good title now we can use our formatting tool to center to do whatever we want so we go to format again this is the box okay we've, we are still typing inside it has not seen it as a text box click outside and come back so it has seen, it's seen it as a text box now so this letter is too dull for us I want to make it yellow yellow is still bad maybe because of the background we we'll give it a lighter background. We we'll make the character readable. We we'll increase the size. We we'll have the liberty to do whatever we want with all this. So we are just beautifying our table. We can change the background, entire background here by right clicking on the background and we choose any color make your background color light okay so that's about designing how about moving these boxes yes we can move them around this is passports many people will want the passports at the upper part notice that when i move this by dragging here this follows it that is the label if i want to move them separately i will move the pick i'll move them by this anchor they can move without following each other now so i'll box select i'll drag to select the entire of this i'll push it down a little bit most people will want their pass their passports up here so i'll get the passports we are just designing the form up here i can drag to change the size of this it will still contain our information this i can now type what i want inside here so we drag this to the header that's not our intention so we remove it from the header area To the normal area we have to drag this head this part of the design you have the flexibility you won't be scared you can always change things this is the header area 
so it moved down to accommodate the picture so we are putting it back where it is this one is by the side of our form we'll bring it to a normal place we can put the logo here just say insert go to your form design and you can insert your logo here you can copy and paste inside the box so you have the liberty to do whatever you want so this is how we are taking about form design so if i want this to move with the box i will pull it from me if i want any to move without the box i will move only it all these boxes i can change their sizes here in actual field work you make this form look like the exact form you met in the field so people don't even feel when they are using it that it is different from what they know physically initially so we call these students passports So always remember that you won't change anything inside here. If you change it, it won't have a link to your table again, no matter what design you are doing. So with this, we can save our work. We can go to the data sheet which we we'll go home. We we'll go to form view. So this is what we have designed. This is what we have. So beautiful. So here we can go from one table, one form to the other. So this brings us, we are going up, we are on the last page. These are the pages I have. And we are moving around our pages. So with this, we end the form design. In the next section, we'll talk about uh, the query. See you in the next section. Hello, welcome to this section. We are done with uh, form. Now we'll create query. Query is the reason why we create database. We want to ask questions. We want to query the data in the table. So first of all, before we start query, let's have a look at our table. These are the data we have in our table. So we'll now go to query. So we go to create. Under query, we look for query wizard. We click query wizard. We need simple query. If we go to advanced uh, access, we can discuss other areas. For now, we click OK. So it's asking us the field we want to use for the query. We'll select all the fields because we are learning. In some instances, you just need few fields from your database and you can create as many queries as possible. If the target is for things like driver's license, I'll just collect relevant information. Then if it is for another thing, then we'll now collect for that particular thing. For now, we are using all our fields. So we click next. We are here. He's telling us uh, we want detail from not the summary, we want everything. Then it has given it a name and the added query, but I don't like the table there. So we'll call it mem query. So we click finish. Yeah, the query is done. Now we've now queried the query. So the table is just like the table we supplied it until we ask questions. Until we ask questions. So we go now and start asking our query question. I noticed something here in the query 
that this one has no number and the field is partially filled so anything we do in the query will eventually go to table so based on that we can give this one a number and we can call it one zero one 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 zero one one anything you do in the query will eventually save in a table okay and the name let's use gd gd the surname alaska okay we just added a name there so we'll save then we go to design view always remember to get to design view you must click home button i will repeat before you go to design or uh, data sheet view click here at times you are in create you won't see it you'll be looking for it so once we know that we go to design view it's here that we ask questions this is where the actual database action is without asking questions there won't be database the first field is the field we recorded in our table the second is the name of our table that we want to query then we can use sort if you don't sort it to sort normal ascending but if we click we can say direction of the sorts these are the things it will show anything we remove here will not appear after the query let's remove this up to the age marriage is the first thing that will appear if you go to data sheets you see that we've asked it not to show so we go back to design view it will show us all this so how do we ask questions two ways number one criteria what are you looking for we we'll use our logical uh, logic to ask questions so if we come to age you can say equal to greater than let's search for those that their age is greater than 21 so i will say greater than 21 under the age and in line with criteria this is what we are looking for so when we go to the view which is here data sheet view you see that all this age are above 24 so we go back to above 21 we go back to query if we add two criteria it means this and the other one let's check for those that are above 21 and are married with this we say greater than 21 and this the same line means and so it has to combine the two they must be 21 and they must be married so this is supposed to be in quotes this yes you know we use yes or no field but database is very unforgiving uh, very forgiving if we don't put quote it will put it for us so based on that we say click so here these are only married and they are above the this age so that's how we query every field anybody anything we are looking for let's look for those that are 21 and bears a particular name so let's look for peter that is 21 the first name is peter and it's above 21 let's see whether we'll have such a person so this is where you search for information we'll check okay nobody has that criteria okay so we go to design view we remove this we are going to use all now all is this one or this let's look for somebody that has the first name peter only one criteria we are giving now does anybody bear peter name peter here nobody bears peter so we look for anybody that is jane here we search we have one gene here okay so we now go to design view we want to look for people that are gene names that are gene 
and at the same time or Paul either way anyone if they are Jane or they are Paul they will show I didn't put the brackets the system is putting it for me that's very good so we click view okay we have only one person that is Jane and we have only one person that is Paul so this is how to query all these fields use what you use in the field if you want to check for those that have fees that have their fees above certain figure those are paid more than this dollars this is where you put it if you want a date you put dates those that registered before this those that registered after this dates if you want to search for only mail you put mail here let's do that one we go to design view you have to remove this before you put another criteria otherwise all of them will be working together so we go to sex here and choose what we are looking for only mail in this database so we look for sex is here so we are looking for mail and we use m for mail so that's all so we now go to search so these are mail okay now after searching the difference between searching and search and query is that search can create a table if we want a table to be created for everybody that is uh, everybody that is male we can create a table as we are increasing uh, capturing data into the table this data will grow once you see mail it will capture it we'll do that right away so this is the query and this is our query and we will finish with query here we've not queried anything so this query will still contain every information in the database let's quickly do a query that will just show us only those that are married so if we click close this query we save it if we've not saved it to ask us to save once we've saved we have this query let's create another query that will target those that are married i'll click create i'll go to query uh query wizard we know all this we know all this we know all this now we are interested to mail so we'll have to add the name here uh xyz school mail query school mail query so this query will permanently there to collect the names of people that are male so we say search we've not queried it yet so we we'll go to design view remember you click the home view go to design view and click design so sex is what we are looking for this database we are building it for only mail we say m mail so we search these are the mail there after that it's saved yes we want to save it so this database will contain mail mark the database if we go and increase the table and we'll have anybody and that person is male you see that it will increase the database of the mail let's see what we have here we have this data one two three four we have four people that are male so let's go to our main database so your query is dynamic it's go to table and collect relevant information so here we are in the main table we can as well do that in form anywhere we choose all we need we want to add the data so we now add data here in the main table and this data will give it zero we'll give it one zero one two following our numbering system and this person is peter and peter surname is calypso calypso then the age i have some age here that are above the normal age i don't know how they get there so we'll correct it this person is 15 this person is 16 
Okay, we'll continue what we are doing here. And the age for this person is maybe 23. And the important thing that it is male. Then we'll put date of registration. So any field you use to query and store it, it will grow. All these fields, we can put it and other ones. But let's save this and check our mail. We'll save it. We'll finish in updating the table. So we close all this. You have to close the query before it can update. So we've closed everything. By the time you call up the mail query, you find out that Peter is there. Okay so we'll go and check again to know why we expect peter to be here in the mail data so we'll check our database whether we saved it well so we go here again then peter uh, okay we use marriage not mail so it will appear as marriage that's okay at least that will tell us that our database is working so here uh, we go to the main table and we are interested in saying that Peter is a male. Here is the line for Peter. This is the line for Peter. Okay. Sex. As if we had uh, one Peter there before. Okay. So this peter do we have another peter no so this peter is male we save it we save peter that is male so it has entered your query database and in male query it will show that we will have one peter that is male okay we save we close we save this we have peter peter is a male okay we save okay this is query it's not even this okay okay this is our mail query is there we have it there so no need so is there peter is in mail query so it has captured it maybe we didn't close the table then so once you close it updates so this is how to create tables a lot of query tables so see you in the next session Welcome to the second part of uh, query. So we we'll use this part to put finishing touches on query. Table is very important to us. Table contain all our data. Form is very important to us. With form, we can have uh, with with form, we can fill in data and manage data too if we're editing the information it gives us the real life view of our data so we can easily update the data we've opened this is open here we've opened this is open here if you're working on one of them it's better to keep the other one closed if i work on this the table will not update immediately until i close it so in order not to have mistake as I'm updating, I'll close the data. I'm going to updating. I'll close the table. We can build the form on any table. Query is a table, and query can generate many tables. If we have a database, we use query to isolate only the things we need. We can build a form based on that. More than one person can be working on the same database, on the same table. 
like in a business organization people that are into accounting may be working on the finance aspect of the client while those that are in management will be updating the client record while those on inventory will only be interested in inventory what held every information together is the unique number that is the customer number if we are to take school for example somebody is working on results like the teacher all the teacher want to know is student's number and the subject he has taken he will just go there and score he's not interested on other things like the age the sex and other things so we can use query to isolate information to separate information like here we've created a query that addresses only the mail in this record we can create another query that will hold only the female in this case we don't need every information it may be only the first name second name and the sex we need if it is what the person is capturing we just want to capture people and know their age if it is an election we want people that are above 18 so we can create a table that just queries and we get somebody that is all those that have above 18 so somebody feeling the form is interested in them if you are above 18 please come over here he will be capturing your data other people may be capturing other data all of them are going into the same data base so it helps us to uh, to distribute labor so that many people will be working on the same database so here uh, just like a summary if you come to create you go to query we have query wizard here we say okay one simple query to give us the list of all the tables you see that even the query is a table we can use to query so we can choose to query a query we can query people that are above 20 then we'll now know those that are above 20 that are married so we have two queries so we can uh, uh, use the same query and combine our query to isolate this information as people are capturing data in the main table the information updates itself automatically so this is all the important thing about query we have to revisit this issue so that you know the power of query query is the reason you're designing database because if you don't have uh, don't know how to query your database the database is useless next we'll go into reports reports is actually printing the database meet you in the next class You're welcome to this section. In this section, we'll discuss reports. Reports looks exactly like uh, similar to form, but it's designed for printing. So we get streets, streets, and look at it. Always remember that reports is a database language for printing. It's called report because usually we don't print everything we just select some aspect of the database and print so we go to create and look for reports who we'll, as usual we'll go to for a report wizard in the advanced level we'll touch other ones okay the report opens this way what are we reporting on as you know we can report just in everything we can report on all this query for now we would report on the table but if you need to report on any of other tables like query table you can do that since we are learning we'll collect all the information all the fields for reports so we click next so it's telling us how to arrange this information it's lined out the way we arrange it in a report we may want to change the position that's when we can click 
and push up or push down to change the uh, position but we are comfortable with the position now so we say next so it will say whether it will sort it ascending or descending if we ignore it it will sort it ascending so we ignore it so if your report is stabilized like excel at times you need some reports to be tabular but with what we have with pictures in them we may want it to be columnar so we say columnar columnar look like real form so it can be portraits and they can be landscape it based on the information you have it can always change from landscape to portrait our information is not very wide rather it's long so we we'll use portrait but you can try out the landscape we click next i want to get the name of our report you see using the name tab so we'll call it main reports main reports we put reports here we'll just we'll have to use our camel style so we have reports that's the end we click finish once we click finish you get a form like display that is ready to print your information okay this is our report you find out that it's a, a print preview it's just ready to print our information this is our first page we can go from one page to the other using this tool this is the second page of our report we have this date thing in it it's telling us it's 2 of 11 you can edit with little scale you can so see the fantastic thing we've done okay you can still notice that we may prefer this picture to be here and do some adjustments exactly the way you adjusted the form is the way you're going to adjust this one you are in print preview you can change the size of the paper the margin anything that has to do with the printing are here so you can use them to adjust to the printer you can have several pages in one page then to do anything we'll close the print preview always remember this this is print preview and for you to do any work you have to click this so if you close the print preview you say okay we are now in design view automatically it takes us to design view if we want to go to print preview again, we'll still have to go to home and go to view and choose report view or print preview. So the same way we designed form is how you're going to design this. You're not adding anything there. So we won't waste time talking about this design. If we want the picture to come up here, take the picture here. We we'll have level for the picture you can take. You can color the background you have the freedom to design this if it is a card you're printing like a atm card you see how you will design the page to look like that if it is company card id card you see how you design a form that will be printing it arrange the information you have if this is an id card this may be the size we want and we have few information there may be name age will not be there and date of employment may be there so this is how to design your form and um, now that we've changed certain things here we can color this we can give it a good name xyz school we'll change this name to xyz school you do anything you want with the label x y z school you still have your format you have your alignment you have everything all your knowledge in micro word in microsoft word you have your background be free to use any tool you want you are free to change the background if you like change anything here 
uh, this uh, report you may want to type these things in full in letter but don't touch this text box information if you change any name here it won't have a link with your database again you've destroyed the link so you but this label you can do anything you want with them even when you delete them it means that this box has no label so once you note this you've mastered your database design so we go back how do we go back to the view we finish our design so we go back to the database this home page always remember that you have to be in home page to see the view so we go to the print preview to see our adjustment and to print our reports so we click print preview so the next thing you say print and it will print all of them so with this we've come to the end of uh, this uh, uh, learn access uh, microsoft access in the evening the master class the advanced class is learn everything in microsoft access please if you enjoyed this uh, uh, lecture uh, enroll on that in that one we touch every bit of information in microsoft access just the tools as it is and that is why the name is every learn everything in microsoft access i look forward to seeing you in that class thank you for staying with me till end of the class thanks 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 enroll please in my learn everything in microsoft access i want to be with you i look forward to seeing you thank you